Today in part two of this series on the fishing spider, this is the tree right here uh, in which we saw a fishing spider. Uh, however, um, well, I'll let the video tell the rest of the story. But it's the uh, middle of winter now, and um, I hope to come back in the spring and maybe find another fishing spider right here in the hole. Enjoy the video. Take care. Trying to get a good look at what is possibly a fishing spider inside this hole in this tree. You can see the spider's legs. Oh, she's home. That's a cool spider. Glad we found her. She's huge. And got a great home, like I've said. We'll be coming back to look on, check on her uh, later on in the week, maybe one or two times, see what she's up to. This is about the time of the year when this spider will, if it hasn't already made an egg sac, will we'll do that shortly and then plant it here somewhere. And then she's going to be off pretty soon now. Going to be hunting for a uh, place to winterize herself. This spider has probably been through all of its molting with maybe one left, depending on how old this spider is. This is her first year. Um, she's going to have to go through winter hibernating period one more time, one more molt, and uh, she'll come out a full mature female come spring. It'll be under a rock or in some woods that uh, pretty much insulates her from the weather. So, <laughs> nice spider. Let's see what else we can find today. Oh, cool. A ribbon snake. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right here. Oh, hang in there, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. You're all right. Yeah. You're okay. Look at you. Look at you. You are so cute. Hey, I'm here with my friend David and he spotted this snake 
and of course, uh, I took advantage of it. He's a cute little guy. I think he's settled down now. He's got a beautiful ribbon, yellow ribbon down his dark brown body, which is one of the reasons they call us a ribbon snake. See if we can get him to stick his tongue out. There he goes. Test in the air for scents. Probably says, I need a bath. Not you, Snake, the other guy. Me. Oh, there he has opened up his mouth a little bit. Okay, we're gonna let this little guy go so we can get back and in the wild and catch something to eat for dinner. Ready to go, buddy? All right, let's go. On the way out today, it's starting to get dark over cloudy here. I thought I would stop and see how the local praying mantis population is doing. And it's always fun to walk through a goldenrod field because they love to camp out here um, because the beautiful fragrance of the, of the goldenrod draws all the insects. So there's a huge female right over here. Let's take a look at her. Look at this big girl. Upside down. See this wonderfully armored legs, two front legs, all kinds of barbs. Oh, she's checking out the camera now. Look at her looking right at you there. I'm checking out her legs. Shouldn't be looking at a girl's legs like that. Back end, Two front legs loaded with all kinds of spikes. The head with the two compound eyes. And um, praying mantis, by the way, is the best in its eyesight of insects at the top of the chain for great eyesight. You can almost see 360, not quite, but hard to sneak up on a praying mantis. And as we scan up her body here, Green against the brown is her wings that she can spread. And then you can see the huge underbody, the abdomen area. Just nice, plump, nice colors. Right over here is another one. 